Okay, people, this is the latest update for this channel. Got some stuff I want to talk about. My challenge run is done, and I was doing no updates recently. I got one thing I want to talk about, which happened several days ago, actually. It's nothing new, but nothing brand new. Um, it's the uh, Google thing. I want to uh, kind of, like, uh, explain what's going on. My uh, videos for this challenge run, when I was first uploading them, I had a problem where I was using the phrase Vicious Onslaught, the cult within, in the description, in the tags, and I thought that wouldn't be a problem because people who search for Onslaught, the cult within, would not find it. Well, it turns out they would find it. I didn't know that because Google has got very really stupid search results. And that wouldn't be a big issue if there weren't people trolling me for Onslaught, the cult within, the old name for Vicious Onslaught, but there were. There were some idiots on 4chan saying it was crap because I had randomly generated maps, uh, shit tons of high res textures. Uh, stupid file size, um, B-Stream monsters only, and they didn't even notice it had new stuff in it. It had plenty of stuff that was B-Stream monster inspired or based, but it, it was altered. So, basically, um, basically a lot of people, on, uh, this is some guys in 4chan did end up trolling this thing. Uh, it, it was stupid, it was called Onslaught the Cult Within then. Uh, they're obviously Doom Community members because they know what Oblige is, and only if you're a Doom Community member would you know what Oblige is. So, yeah, it's, it's stupid. I mean, I don't like this. So, I didn't want them to find out about Vicious Launch the Cult Within, which is the newest version of this game, uh, made with Randoom and all that stuff. So, what I ended up doing is I had to re upload them all, and it was a real annoyance because every time I re uploaded another one and changed the previous one, Google would put my previous ones tags that had Vicious Onslaught the Cult Within in them, in the search results for Google for Onslaught the Cult Within, even though I didn't actually want that. So I ended up deleting all of mine late at night, I'm like, okay, I'm not going to upload these, I'm going to do this tomorrow, and I'm going to I'm gonna completely re redo my tags and my uh, up uploading defaults on YouTube, and make it so that that phrase, the Cult Within, is not in the tags. And it was really annoying, because like the first six parts were done when this happened. I had to re-upload them. So most of them would, were uploaded that day. And it was really annoying, and thanks Google for totally trying to screw up everything I've been working on with this. Annoying. You shouldn't be doing this crap. But yeah, that's what Google does, you know. Google's stupid. I mean, if you search for Vicious Onslaught the Cult Within, you should get Vicious Onslaught the Cult Within and not Onslaught the Cult Within. And the other way should be true as well. I mean, if you're searching for Onslaught the Cult Within, you should not get something that says Vicious Onslaught the Cult Within. It shouldn't be that way. Anyway. That's the first thing I want to talk about, and that's off my chest, so that was the first stupid thing I want to talk about. The second stupid thing is not so stupid, actually. It's far less stupid, in fact. But uh, there's been some unfollowers on, on uh, Twitter as of late, and they're not... You know, they think this, this is not uh, like an acceptable game or something. That's dumb. It's, it's very acceptable to me. Um, so yeah, some people unfollowed me. Some idiots who think that, you know, vicious gaming is not really a gaming group. Of course it's a gaming group. I'm making this game. Uh, this game's done, by the way, and I've been working on it, and they didn't like it, so they unfollowed me. I'm like, one guy who unfollowed me was into rap music and couldn't stand this was a metal FPS. Like, you know, metal music is such a bad thing that it needs to be trashed or something. I mean, like, like oh, it's such a bad thing to have a metal-themed FPS game. With all these people who like rap, hate metal, I don't get this. Uh, especially since metal is so much better. <laughs> That's just a fact, people. And a fact I don't need to back up, because it's true. I mean, I'm not going to get into a rap versus metal debate, but everybody who knows the difference between the two should know metal is better, and I'm not going to say any more than that. But yeah, I mean, he's one of the guys who unfollowed me, and thankfully a whole bunch of people, um, a whole bunch of people liked that tweet saying, oh, um, um, I've been unfollowed by someone who doesn't like metal. He must be a metal hater. Now, I didn't want to, like, say he was a rap fan, but that's what he was, and that was quite bad. Another thing I want to talk about right now, which is really annoying, is I'm getting very few views on this YouTube channel as of late. The actual Twitter account is still working really well. I'm uploading videos directly to Twitter to counteract for this. Little short little clips of Vicious Onslaught, like me showing off a feature for like a, like a minute or less. They're doing pretty well. I'm getting lots of views on them. That's because um, they autoplay. <laughs> these playthrough videos here, these, these challenge run videos aren't getting viewed. I think I've got only one view on this challenge run so far. It's been, you know, 75% complete to 100% complete as of late, and no one's been viewing it. And that's just really bad, and I'm going to keep it up there, because it's my damn game, but... Uh, I'm going to abandon this YouTube channel now. I have no reason to stay on this YouTube channel. It's not doing anything. Um, I, I'm going to abandon it for now and come back to it later and try to do something else. Vicious Onslaught's not been doing well on YouTube, and I don't like this, because it's Vicious Onslaught. It should do much better than this. 
Um, I, it might be randomly generated, but it's got good gameplay. Who cares? It's got good gameplay. It's got, the gameplay is great in this. It's got very interesting gameplay. I mean, you can do crazy stuff like turn on the force field and blow up guys with explosives at point blank range. How many other games allow you to do that? Tell me. I don't think there's a single one besides Vicious Onslaught, honestly. So yeah, I mean, yeah, it hasn't been viewed at all. People aren't viewing it. I mean, I've even decided to put, like, little uh, links um, on Twitter saying that I've um, added Vicious Onslaught videos to playlists. And um, that got some guy to reply to me, but he hid the reply from my notifications for stupid reasons. And I don't know why the hell he did that. I have no clue what the reply was. I deleted the tweet, so I couldn't figure out. If that happens again, I'm going to check it out, because there's ways to, ways to look at all the replies you get, um, even if they're hidden replies. I mean, Twitter shouldn't allow hidden replies, honestly, but yeah, that's that's pretty bad. So that, that guy, um, I don't know who he is, but um, he didn't like the fact I was doing playthrough of Vicious Onslaught, possibly. I mean, I'm doing this playthrough because this is my channel, and I feel like doing it. Besides, this is a really good game. Uh, this is going to hopefully do well after I release it, because the, the indie game traction for this thing has been ridiculous. It's been great. Especially since I added that Mon and Smith level. That made the game so much better. That was an original idea for the original game, by the way. Mon and Smith was going to be an original game idea. Uh, the original game idea was actually going to be much better than this, but I still think this is a pretty good game. It's a good recreation of the idea. It's just um, a little bit, you know, lo-fi. We wanted much better graphics than this kind of thing. This is kind of like Doom Engine stuff with high-risk textures. I mean, that's that w that will do for me because I can't really make it much better because the Doom Engine is the easiest engine to mod, and has the most free-to-use enemies by a long shot. And there's no other free-to-use enemies in any other engine. That's the sad fact of it. No one's making them. And if even if they made them, it wouldn't be enough to really you know w really make a game on them because you know there's not enough of them. I mean, free-to-use enemies are in FPS Creator, but FPS Creator is a pile of junk. Quake Engine doesn't have them. Unreal Engine doesn't have them. There's no free to use enemies anywhere else but the Doom Engine, so I have to make it a Doom Engine game, unfortunately. I know it makes it look bad. I mean, the graphics aren't great and everything, but whatever. I mean, I don't really care what about the graphics. Well, I do care. I had to make it as good looking as possible, but I made the textures really nice looking. But I couldn't make it look perfect. And I'm not a very good mapper, so I had to randomly regenerate it. I had no choice. So yeah, um, Vicious Onslaught. Um, I like it. It's getting a lot of traction in the indie uh, dev situation now. Uh, people have, have liked my videos showing off the Mon and Smith level, which is a really scary level. I mean, I'm not going to go into the details of the story behind that, because that's for another video. In fact, it's for something I might do tomorrow night at an update, because that's something I really don't want to talk about too much, because it's scary. And I'm kind of freaked out about the whole concept behind that level, by the way. It's a scary, scary level, and it doesn't play like the other levels. It's a very unique level. But I'll get into that level tomorrow night and tomorrow night's update, but that is done really well. My videos on the Mon and Smith level were great. They, they did pretty well. One of them got around 400 impressions, which is, I mean, that might be great on Twitter. That might not be great on Twitter at all, but um, that's pretty good for me. So uh, that's, that's good enough for me. And that, people liked that. People retweeted it. People liked it. It was, it was a pretty good video I'm going to put up for Twitter to show off the really scary level I made, and it even has scary music now, which is great. And uh, I love the extra rule I stuck in at the end of this challenge run to kill Damien with the animal launcher. That was funny. Uh, I can't believe I stuck that in. Uh, as an extra rule, I'm going to challenge myself at the last minute to kill the final boss with um, an underpowered weapon like that, and a funny weapon too, so I'm going to kind of embarrass him. And I did that. I mean, I'm not joking, that's what I freaking did. But yeah, I got out the animal launcher here. You can see me killing him in this video. Uh, this is this is the last level of Vicious Onslaught, and here's the final boss. He's the Madden Cult Leader. I also uh, recorded new sounds for Vicious Onslaught. Um, new sounds for a couple of things. The first thing is I re-recorded the sounds for the boss monster you see in the Monster Smith level. Well, I won't say what that is yet. And the other thing I recorded new sounds for are Cult Soldiers. And the new sounds for the Cult Soldiers are really nonsensical screams and moans that say things. Things such as Behold the Omnipotence of the Death Chicken. And um, another another saying they say is um, I eat cabbage with my arms chopped off. I mean, some of these make absolutely no sense. But they're supposed to be an insane death cult. So I wanted them to say completely nonsensical, insane phrases. So I invented a whole bunch that make absolutely no sense one day in the morning and recorded them that day. 
I also recorded this absolutely hideous scream last night. That was going to be the monster that you end up running into in a Mono Smith level. I needed a really scary sound for him. I mean, there's no way in hell I'm going to do that with a not so scary sound. So I actually made a really, really scary sound. It's, it, it actually makes you jump. It's that scary. So yeah, I, I got away with that too. No one, was in, no one was around. Everyone was in bed. I may have woken a few of them up, but I got away with it. And um, in other news, uh, tonight I something nasty happened to me tonight, which is really bad. Uh, I cut myself in the neck, but I'm fine. Um, I stopped the bleeding and everything, but it wasn't nice bleeding. It was quite severe, but I'm okay. I'm okay. I stopped the bleeding. I don't know how I stopped the bleeding, but I did. But I'm I'm okay. But it wasn't anywhere near the area in the neck where you cut to kill yourself or anything. It was near the shoulder actually. So I'm okay. So yeah, I can live on and, and do this challenge run, and that's a relief. So I, I'm glad I did this challenge run. Actually, this is a fun challenge run to do. But um, yeah. That's the end of this update, people, and I'm going to be doing updates every night, and only updates every night from now on, because the challenge run is done. That's it.